Hey all, Paul Mori here with an announcement I'd like to put out. Um, as most of you know by now, uh, Dearborn Truck Plant finally gave us a uh, confirmed date for the uh, switch from the AWS 7-on-7 seven seven off to the five-day schedule. And if I could, I'd like to just read an announcement I put out uh, this Friday. Um, as you are aware, the Dearborn Truck Plant Management has decided to revert back to a five-day work schedule for the skilled trades effective May 6, 2024. The new schedule will consist of a traditional three-day pattern. The number one shift will start at 11 p.m. through 7.30 a.m., and that begins on Sunday, May 5th, 2024. The number two shift will start at 7 a.m., and it will go through 3.30 p.m. The number three shift will start at 3 p.m. and run through 11.30 p.m. Management will be providing a survey sheet to be filled out uh, with your shift preference uh, in ranked order beginning Friday, April 12th, and that will go through April 26th. And I know the company put out an announcement and it didn't say the closing date, but just so you're all aware, um, April 26th, Friday is the uh, return date for getting everybody's surveys put, put in. Um, if you do not complete a selection form, you will be assigned to wherever the opening exists. Your shift assignment will be in the Dearborn Truck Plant Department you're currently in. The next Heritage uh, Building Department bump will be next January. So this will be only for the building you're currently in. Put in your shift preference and uh, make sure you get that back to your supervisors before Friday, uh, April 26th. Um, we're currently working on determining the needs for skilled trades from the expected surplus caused by the shift from AWS to the five-day schedule. The trade surplus will be absorbed into the Rouge Maintenance Construction Transportation Unit population. There will be a separate survey offering seniority employees the opportunity to backfill openings that are within the, 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 uh, the rouge that currently exist. Um, and additionally, there will be in-zone postings for openings at locations outside the rouge complex. Uh, these opportunities will be limited to up to five pipe fitters and six millwrights. Those numbers are based on the ex expected surplus beyond what we expect to backfill inside the Rouge complex. So to be clear, there'd be opportunities in zone areas and we don't have the postings yet. That's gonna, uh, we're expecting them to come in on Tuesday, uh, April 16th. And it looks like they're gonna allow us to have it posted for seven business days. So those opportunities will be available to the entire maintenance construction unit, um, um, our whole unit. Uh, uh, millwrights and pipe fitters will be able to put in for those opportunities. And that's uh, separate from the uh, movement that's going to happen at truck plant. So it's kind of a couple things going on at one time. What we'd like to do is any surplus that is going to ultimately leave the MNC unit, we want to identify those people as soon as we can before we make a churn on the site, which is expected uh, soon after this uh, May 6th date. Um, I just want to say thanks to all for your patience and understanding in the process. We really had no leverage in the company's decision to return to a five-day schedule. In fact, we advised strongly against it. We didn't want this change. We understand this will disrupt the members' uh, work-life balance, and uh, at least for a while, it's gonna cause some, some problems and concerns. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us. I know people had made long-term plans based on the schedule we had for the last 13, 14 years now. Um, this is a sea change, and I can tell you we understand the problems that it could cause, but we're going to try to work through everything as best we can. I just want people to know that uh, we are going back to a five-day schedule that was in place for 60, 70 years. So none of the language attached to the five-day schedule is new. It's all in the ex existing contract and agreement. So I know people are a little... Uh, uh, after so many years, you're used to working on one schedule. There's going to be some, some things that are going to come up. We'll work with everybody. I'd like to be able to answer every question right now, but I think there's more information coming on a daily basis. Um, we met with the company for months, literally months, to try to get a determined date, and it just came up this last Thursday. So as I promised in the past, as soon as we got the concrete information, um, up until last week, it looked like they may hold this off until after the shutdown period. So I can tell you, I didn't want to put anything out until it was confirmed, and that information just came up this past Thursday night. So um, as promised, we're getting it out to you. Um, I did want to say a couple of points also. Um,
I want people to know that we did protest this change. We understand that people did get used to the schedule and it works for a lot of people. Um, we fought mightily. We got our uh, National Ford Department servicing department involved and um, we were just not able to get, convince the company that this is probably not the right move at this time. We're going to have to see where all this goes. But I will say, we don't want to change anything that we do on a day-to-day -day basis because the company has decided to short, short, uh, short the schedule and short the trades. We know there's needs for trades throughout the complex, throughout our unit. I just want to implore you to continue to do the great job that you do. Um, PMs, things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. We don't want to take any shortcuts because the company would love nothing more than for us to shirk our responsibilities and then be able to reduce our trades even further. I think we're going to see a, a sea change here in the next several weeks. We're going to work through it the best we can. Um, as I said before, there's going to be concerns and problems. Um, we'll try to work through everything on a case-by-case -case basis, but don't hesitate to reach out to your committee people, to the bargaining team, or myself personally. Um, we understand the disruption that's going to occur right now, but we're going to do our best to make sure it's as painless as possible. Again, I want to thank you for what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, and I also want to say uh, be safe and take care of one another. Thank you.